Hello and welcome to this week's Blender tutorial. In this week's tutorial we're going to be introduced to materials and textures and then we're going to look at how we can render out an image from our, our 3D modeling software. Okay, so the first thing many people ask is what's the difference between materials and textures in Blender? Materials are what the object is made from. The most simple way to explain that is it's how the object that you've got, the 3D model, how the surface of it reacts to light. So we can see here I've got three different objects. They're all exactly the same, but they've each got a slightly different material. So if we look at this first one over here, it's quite dull. So it's soaking up a lot of light and it's not really reflecting it. The next one over is very reflective. We can see this white bit of light here that it's reflecting. So that's a lot more shiny. And the last one down the end here is completely reflective. It's a mirror surface. So the light from that Okay, it's, it's really reflecting the light from all the other objects and then reflecting it straight back at us. So materials are what the objects are made from and it's how they react with the light. Textures is something different. Textures can be applied to a material but textures are, if we have a look, it's what the image looks like. So is it furry? Is it rough? Is it made of wood? Is it made of marble? And we should be able to see here, I've just unticked there we go and we can see that this orb now this has got a texture applied to it so it's got a rock texture so we can see that it actually it looks like something it's textured it's quite a rough surface okay textures are achieved by using an image file so we might have an image of wood planks that we apply to it we might have an image of down here we can see there's kind of marble tiling on the floor that's just a flat plane with a marble tiling texture on okay so materials are what it's made of and how it reacts to light and the textures an image file that we apply to it that makes it look like something wood, marble, fur, grass, anything we've got a picture of okay let's get started then so I'm going to open up a new project here and we'll just start with this very simple cube down here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag up my window so I can better see it now along here on the right we can see two different tabs we've got kind of a, a red ball and then a red and white checker ball if we make sure we've got the cube clicked in our project window click the red ball this is our material this contains all the options for the material we've currently got selected and applied to it so we can see we've got the diffuse colour and if I move that up or down we can see it makes it lighter or darker and we've got the specular colour that's to do with the reflectivity so if I move it up we can see it's suddenly very reflective a lot brighter there and if I move it down it's very dull it's not reflecting any light so we can just do these by using little slider bars another thing we can also do is we can also change the reflective colour so I'm going to make this red and if we have a look now we can see it's reflecting red light so I think of this as the default material colour now if we add a texture to it then we won't be able to see that colour we'll be able to see it in the reflectivity so our specular colour but not in the diffuse colour we've also got down the bottom we've got a mirror option so if we tick mirror okay and we move reflectivity up we can see in our little preview here the objects now reflective if we move it down less reflective all the way up to completely reflective okay I'm going to untick that because we don't want mirror applied to this one we've also got a transparency and as we see the little Fresnel slider there we can make an object more or less transparent and that's useful obviously for creating stuff like windows where we want to be able to see through it either wholly or a little bit I'm going to untick that though we don't want our, our object to be transparent so this is our materials editor over here next to that the red and white checkerboard we have the textures window right now I'm just going to click X to get rid of this so when we open this up we can see we've got our material texture, we can click new and what we want to do is we want to make an image, the texture for our, our 3D model so I'm going to click the option for image and movie under the type sub menu next we go down to where it says image and we're going to open up an image, so click open right, now you have to navigate to where you've got some texture files and texture files can be any image file whatsoever, a JPEG or PNG to where we've got them saved, now I've saved on my desktop on my computer a folder called assorted textures so I'm going to go here and I'm going to select one let's have a look at this rusted metal one I'm going to click that and click open 
So we can see it's brought it up. There's the image file as it is. Okay, and that's going to be applied to my model. Now, what we can do, because at the minute in the window, we can't actually see what it looks like, and that's not very good. If we go down to by the object menu and we click the little white material ball, we want to display rendered. So there we go. Now we can see, and I can pan around. There's a bit of lag as my 1950s computer struggles to keep up with what we're doing. But we can see there, in practically real time, the texture applied to it. Now, that looks good from the top, but if we pan around to the side, we can see it's not really textured evenly. Now, what we need to do now is look at the mapping. That's how the texture is projected onto the 3D model. So if we go down to mapping, and under projection, we want to change it to cube. Okay, that's because we're box modeling, so we're starting with a box, so it's going to project it onto the sides equally. And now we can see if we pan all around, hey, there we go, fantastic. We've got our texture. Now at the minute, it's displaying it once across vertically and once horizontally, so on the Y and the X axes. But sometimes we want our texture to be spread more evenly and kind of over a greater distance of it. So. Under the image mapping options here, we've got repeat X and Y. So let's move it at the minute. It's repeating it once across each X and Y axis. So let's move that to 2x2 two two and wait for it to run down. Ah, we can see now our image is mapped twice across the X and Y. And we could go 3x3. Three three. There we go. Even more in detail. Fantastic. Okay. That's looking good. That's looking okay, but it's still looking a bit flat to me. Now, Blender's got this great little geometry tool, which is a really quick slider memory, uh, slider bar, not memory, called normal. Now we're going to tick the normal bar under geometry, and when we do that, if we zoom in, we can see that it gives us a greater kind of look of depth. Now I'm going to slide this all the way up, and we should see when the image updates. There we go. Okay. And once again, this is kind of changing how the light reacts with the object. Let's move it all the way down, and it should kind of make it look a bit more pressed in. There we go. Fantastic. We're going to move that back up. That's quite extreme. There, we'll just move that up. There we go. That'll do. That's fine. Fantastic. So, when it catches up. So we've now we've got our cube. It's looking quite good. Uh, I like the material, but I am going to make this actually slightly mirrored, just to give it that kind of metallic sheen. Now you notice it's suddenly going a bit grey, but that's because obviously we've got nothing around us at the minute, so the object's just reflecting the grey background. Uh, I'll show you another lesson how to change all that. We'll turn that mirror option off then. There we go. It's looking good. The next thing that I want you guys to do today um, is going to be rendering out an image from your 3D model. But for now, I'm going to save that for a separate video tutorial, which will be part two, setting up cameras and rendering out images. For now, I'd like you to open up a project and just have a go with some of the assorted textures that you can download from Moodle, um, texturing and adding materials, different materials to some cubes. Okay. Uh, get used to adding materials and textures and let's see what kind of stuff we can come up with.